for sale, 1967 Oldsmobile Cutlass. I'm going to walk around and tell you about the car, fire it up, and then drive it. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you. Like I said, 67 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme Holiday Hard Top. Finished in red with black interior. Powered by its original 330 Turbo 350 Trans. Power steering, power brakes, and 12 volt rear. And as always, you know, I'm going to go around and tell you about the car. And then we'll end up firing up and drive it. So we'll start here in the front. First off, I'd like to point out the front bumper is pretty much in excellent condition. Really, really nice, very impressive. The same thing goes for the back bumper. Uh, another nice thing is that it has all original body panels throughout. So, I mean, you see it there, everything lines up super nice and you'll, you'll see it as I go around. I do, however, notice there are a couple, you know, chips that have been touched up on this edge there. I mean, that kind of makes sense because it sticks out a little bit. Little touch up there, another little touch up there. Uh, but the paint's very, very nice. All the trim all the way around, very nice condition. Um, so I might as well open the hood here. Original 330. It's got an aluminum intake on it as well. Four barrel carb. It was a factory air conditioning car, so it would have been a nicer option car for sure. Uh, you see the components there. You see that there, aluminum radiator in it. They put uh, chrome, I can't even think over the diesel. Chrome valve covers on it, but I like, because they're of course Oldmobile style with the Jetfire sticker on there for the 330 cubic inch motor. Very nice here. I mean, this is nice. Inner fender walls are nice. It's factory exhaust manifolds as well. All this looks very, very nice. Uh, trim tag is in place, which has the 3387, 817, excuse me, which is the F85 Cutlass Supreme Holiday Hardtop. Anyway, we'll carry on down the car. Another nice thing I, you see, the bumper fits perfect to the front fender as well as this piece there. I don't know if I mentioned it already. I probably haven't, but I've had a few, there's a couple marks right in the paint there. I've had a few 67 Oldsmobiles, cutlasses of course. And this is probably, without a doubt, the nicest one. There's a little, little mark right there. Uh, Condition-wise, body panel-wise, undercarriage-wise, when you when you bundle that all together, I believe this is the nicest one. Again, without a doubt. Um, I know that these Oldsmobiles are prone to rusting, and there is none. Is it cold out here? You'll see there in glass. Excellent. way it should be. The interior on the car is mint. I mean, both front and rear door panels, front and rear seats, that's all super, super nice. There's a Vintag in place. Look at the seats there. Super nice. Flash the, oh, I gotta flip this up. Flash the back seat here. Door panels on both sides. Working dome lights in the back. Even like seat back, the lower seat, this is all tidy and, and clean. Headliner is mint. There's no rips on that at all. See? Uh, I mean, this doesn't even show like it's overly been sat in. The carpet looks like it's been replaced at some point. I don't want to say too recent, but recently. Dash pad, no cracks in it, even over here where the little glove box is. That's awesome. This is all very, very nice as well. A couple added gauges down there again, oil, water, and vault. Those are all, you know, those come in handy when you drive your cars. 
um, 74,000 on the odometer. There's your air conditioning controls. Um, your AC vents as well on both sides. You're stainless all the way along the bottom. That's in excellent condition. Real low moldings, even on the lower all the way back. Oh, very, very nice condition. I do see, however, I'm trying to think, just a few, you know, you might see them, you might not see them. Like little dimples in the paint just in this section there. And I do, I know this is dust, but there's two little touch-ups right there. And another little guy right there. Show you the back bumper. Like I said, it's in excellent condition, just like the front. Even the trim here, the Oldsmobile trim, that's very, very nice as well. Oh, uh, your trunk pan, I mean trunk, uh, Trunk lid fits great. All the way around, like perfect fitment. I did see, you see a tiny little indent right there on the trunk lid. There's your original trunk pan, unpatched, not rusted, not replaced. Original quarters in it as well. Part of the original trunk mat, or Part of the trunk mat. I know it goes on the upper level there. Again, original to the car. Not replaced up there. Weather stripping in here has been redone. That looks very nice as well. And your under lid as well. Right there on the paint. A little touch up right there. there we'll be up for sale later today on my website next and eBay both the links will be in the description of this video if you want to check it out let us know 67 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme holiday hard top finished in really really nice color combination red with Pretty much excellent black interior. Number matching 330. Turbo 350 trans, power steering, power brakes. Was factory AC. Uh, 12 volt rear. We are getting to that point of the video now. We are going to fire it up and then drive it. Notice that right there, two little touch-ups right there. Little mark right there, I probably showed that before. Oh, another little guy. So, thank you.